I'm a music producer, and I'm also a third culture kid. What's that? It basically means that when I was growing up, I was influenced by more than one home culture. The term third culture kid was first used by John and Ruth Usim during the 1950s, during their research, and they found that third culture kids learn to adapt very well to new culture environments, also as adults, because, well, they have to. And when presented with two different cultures, let's say the culture of the parents and the culture of the country they are living in, or maybe the parents themselves represent two different cultures. In this instance, a third culture kid sees three perspectives. The perspective of each culture they're being presented with and their own perspective the third culture, which they create for themselves out of that experience. They can also feel torn apart by all these cultures, feeling pressured to identify with just one of them. I have always been asked, which country do you like more, your mum's or your dad's? And I can't answer that question because they are both so different. And I am both of them at the same time. And also, somehow, I am more than the sum of those parts. That can sometimes lead to an identity crisis at times or feeling like I don't belong anywhere at all because one of the difficulties of being a third culture kid is having multiple loyalties. And observing the power play going on between some cultures can be confusing for that reason. The thing is, I believe that cultural identity isn't something fixed. It can flow and change from day to day. My sense of home now is drawn from cultures that really resonate with me as an artist. And that's because I learned at a young age that there is no one correct way to think or to live. And accepting that I don't have one fixed cultural identity has actually made me more whole as an artist. And as globalization continues, I hope that the form my art has taken will show the many third, other third culture kids who are trying to find their place in the patchwork that it's actually human and normal to be a puzzle of two or more rich cultures. With that in mind, I'm going to perform three songs for you. And each song tells the story of a different character from that character's perspective. And the first song will be in Mandarin. And the second song will be in Korean. And the last song will be in English. My music is my third culture. Enjoy.